Born and raised on a small farm in the Swiss Alps, already as a kid I wanted to see more than just my home valley. The bicycle used to be the very first haul means that allowed me to travel through Switzerland with my friends. Later I started to compete and my journeys took me further and further. On one of these trips I met Hans Ray, the bike legend itself. He told me that the roots of mountain biking go back to the year 1890 in the USA. I was totally fascinated by this tale. I couldn't let go of it. That's why I visited the old house of my uncle, a very special place where I like to bow out. There are lots of ancient maps and books from the end of the 18th century. It inspired me to find out more about the history of mountain biking. I found out that in 1896 the US Army was testing if bicycles might be used for military purposes. Therefore, they sent Afro-American troops off-road by bike. These troops became well known as the Buffalo Soldiers. I absolutely wanted to know how this feeling from back in the days must have been like. So I grabbed some old clothes, shoes, a backpack and went on an old Swiss army bike that was developed over a hundred years ago in 1903. I couldn't believe how much fun it was to ride this old bike to its limit. This is when I decided trying to follow the footprints of the Buffalo Soldiers. I traveled to the United States hoping to be able to get a closer look to what it was like to be one of the very first mountain bikers. And honestly, if I'm already in the States, I want to ride some ultimate trails and experience adventures together with my body and pro biker, Ross Schnell. It's amazing that how the technology has advanced because these bikes are terrible to ride off-road. These guys were doing it, they weren't complaining, they were carrying all of their camping gear and guns and I mean these were the original mountain bikers, the Buffalo Soldiers. Mm -hmm. 